Hi, this is Alan Shaw from Strategic Planet, um, welcoming you back to another online lecture. And today we're going to look at um, search engine optimization and search engines in general. The first question we should ask ourselves is what is a search engine? Well, it's a tool that lists content on the internet based on the criteria set by the searcher. Are there many of these search engines? Well, there are three types. There's the crawlers or spiders, which is like your Google. Then there's the directory or human powered search engines like Mahalo and ChaCha.com. And finally, there's the meta search engines, which take the results of the popular search engines and generate a new set of results. Dogpile is a good example here. What do you get when you search for information? Well, there are three types of formats I want to very briefly discuss. First of all, what you can see is the results generated for a very competitive term, insurance. Not only do you get the generic results, highlighted here, you get the sponsored ones, the ones which are paid for. So in this case, we see the main sponsors in the pinky shady area and the sponsors on the right hand side. Alternatively you may get a set of results which only has a limited number of sponsors on it so there's nothing illustrated on the right hand side. Finally you may choose a term which is not competitive whatsoever where there is no one bidding for any paper clicks. The left hand column is what you could consider an, an advanced search feature. It allows you to filter the search by either images, videos, news, etc. I'd urge you to have a go and see what uh, you get when you're looking for the search terms that interest you. Why are search engines so important? Search engines are the biggest source of web traffic. More people use search engines to find what they need rather than just type in the URL. This is why we need a search engine optimization process. But what is search engine optimization? Put simply, it's the process of improving the visibility of a web page in a search engine's organic search results. What do you need to do then? Well, there are three key elements that I'd like to focus on. The first is check that your site's index, run a SERP program, that's Search Engine Results page for your key terms, and then look at your benchmarks for your website. Let's look at these individually. How do you check that your site's index? Well, there are three options open to you. The first is to use a website that has a tool that can check it for you. There are a number of these about, and the one that I prefer is the site seo-browser.com. All you do is type in the URL you want, the Google box that you want to consider, and you can either go advanced or simple. Now I've chosen a medical site that is an index. This should display the results of what's on that particular page. But what it's actually doing is showing me the results of a pop-up blocker that's asking the individuals who are searching for that detail, whether they're members of the public or a healthcare professional. So this shows that that page isn't indexed. Alternatively, you could use Google itself. All you have to do is type in site hyphen and then the URL of the website that you're looking to consider. Again, I've chosen another medical website and I know by looking at it that this site has over 72 pages, but only 36 results are showing. So this tells me that over half of the pages or approximately half the pages aren't indexed and I know why it's the same problem as we saw earlier there is a pop-up blocker 
that asks if you're a member of the public or a healthcare professional. Finally, you can use Google again by simply typing in the whole of the URL that you're looking to test. In this case, it's another uh, medical site. And I know that page exists and it should pop up as the first result, but it doesn't because it's not indexed. The other thing we should do is run a SERP, a search engine results page for the key terms that you want to review. Now again there are many websites that offer this tool but the one I prefer is this Australian site here. Let's look at an example. I've chosen that medical site that I was reviewing earlier. I've chosen the search engine I want to focus on in this particular case, it's uh, Google UK. And I've identified uh, a key term which is associated with that site, growth hormone disorders. When I've submitted the query, I discover that it is found in position 362. So that's about 100 pages from the first page. Is that good enough? I don't think so. Let's do another example. I've chosen a, another medical website here uh, and the key term associated with that site. In this case the results are much better but still not good enough. It's found in position 36 which is about two and a half pages away from the top. What you should do now is consider your KPIs. No doubt you'll have some form of analytic tools monitoring your own particular site, but there are other platforms that give you a more in-depth review of your site and you can also use it to compare with your competitors. The one that I'd like to concentrate on is Alexa. Let's have a look and see what it provides. Alexa will give you a wealth of information. Now I focus on my own blog in particular. And what it does is it illustrates where you are in terms of the Alexa traffic rank. What I could do as well is put in competitors websites and compare how I'm doing against them. It also allows me to review some of the key terms that have been reviewed on the site to find it. So in this case, the most popular term was pastel definition. Finally, it gives me an idea of the um, audience demographics. And you should use this against your key target audience to see whether it's um, uh, achieving the same set of people.